Hey everyone, it's Christina from Create with Christina, and I'm going to show you how to transform one of these wood Dollar Tree plaque signs. They essentially have these every season, every holiday, there's usually something different on them. I mean, it doesn't really matter what's on the front side because we're actually going to paint it with that white chalk paint I showed you. I'm going to mix in some blue with that. Then we're going to use some craft popsicle sticks and some Mardi Gras beads or string beads, whatever you have. I had those lying around. Um, the foam craft balls from Dollar Tree, some Mod Podge, um, a little floral insert um, that you can use for like planners, baskets, glue stick, glue gun, some string and ribbons to make a bow. And we're gonna go ahead and sand this down. This is optional, but it had a lot of glitter and it was kind of a bumpy raised texture and I didn't really want that. And I also didn't want the glitter to mix in with the paint. Um, so I did sand it a little. And so I'm just going in with that chalk paint mixed with the blue acrylic. And I'm just giving that a good coat. As you can see, it covers really well. Um, you could go in and do a second coat, but the backside isn't going to show, so if a little bit showing through, it's not really too big of a deal, but that chalk paint is amazing. And I'm also just painting these Mardi Gras beads that same color using the same blue mixture. I'm gonna set those aside and let that dry. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm taking these craft popsicle sticks and I kind of measured out how they would fit inside the, the back of that Dollar Tree sign, almost like a little shadow box. And so I'm cutting these all to size. It took me about eight craft popsicle, stick, popsicle sticks of that size. So if you're doing the same craft or you happen to find that same picture, um, it was about eight of them that I had to cut down. And then I'm just painting those with a brown acrylic paint essentially the idea is that those are going to kind of look like a wood panel as the back of that photo so while i'm letting everything dry i'm going to go ahead and make a little bow ribbon here now i am not great at making bows out of ribbon or string I am still practicing, so I kind of just made little knot bows and I glued uh, the gold on top of the yellow polka dot. And I'm just kind of making a simple loop knot bow with this uh, little blue and white thin string. And I just used hot glue to kind of keep the bows on top of each other so they would sit on top of each other nicely. I'm just going to kind of trim these down, make them look cute. And then now we're going to go ahead and go glue these wood craft popsicle sticks in there. Kind of make like a panel type of backing. Now this last one, it didn't quite fit in there great. I did have to trim the edge just a little bit. So you might have to go back and do that to kind of make them all fit in there nicely. But you don't really want them to be perfect. The idea is it kind of looks like real wood back there. Um, then I took the little crafter blocks that you get at Dollar Tree. They're just the little square blocks. And I wanted to make it like a 3D effect. So I did put those on the back to glue it down. And then I'm just using that floral insert. I'm actually just taking some of the green little grass parts of it. And I cut that off because I'm using some Mod, Pod Mod Podge. And I'm putting the little grass strands back there. Um, usually the Mod Podge dries pretty clear. Um, I think I used a little too much. And I didn't want glue gun strings everywhere. Um, so that was kind of why I used the Mod Podge. And then I'm gluing the craft foam balls on now. And that's also kind of helping to keep the grass stuck down. And there's really no rhyme or reason for these craft balls. I'm just kind of carrying it up. Not really any particular pattern. Just kind of maybe going with a smaller size, then a big size, and a small size. Kind of every other. Go ahead and glue this ribbon on. 
Now, it's basically the sign is obviously meant to hang on a wall, so it had kind of a metal rivet there, um, but that's where I glued the bow on to kind of hide that. And then now I'm taking that strand of beads that I had painted and I'm just using some hot glue to put that around the edges as a little border. Just trying to be really careful to kind of make it um, straight so it looked really nice and neat. And then I took that same little sandpaper block I had and just kind of rubbed it on the beads to almost give it a little distressed type of look. It was really cute. In case you're wondering, I got that chalk paint actually from Michael's. It's a pretty big size, so you're probably not going to find that white chalk paint that size in your Dollar Tree, but I think it was worth the splurge. I mean, it was like $10, so no big deal. But there you have it. A cute finished product. I hope you like it.